probably done the multiplication of polynomials before. I don't know that you've done. Hmm, you might have gotten. You might have done the division at the very end of last year, maybe. Um, some of it is not here. Is that better? I'll put it over there for now. So we're going to multiply 2x plus 2 times 3x squared minus 5x plus 2. Okay? Multiply each term in the outside parentheses by each term in the inside parentheses and then simplify. I remember doing it in eighth grade, but I didn't really get it. I remember the teacher that taught me. Mm -hmm. And then you do two times each of those. Do I have this written down? Yeah. Once y'all write it down, I'll move it back up because I'll have more room to work. What if my smart word messes up? I don't know. He said that these smart words, um, yeah, they're the old ones, and so they're out of warranty now, and so they can't fix them, but yeah, they're fuzzy. All right, so for this one, the 2x, we're going to multiply it by how many terms? These three, right? And then we're going to multiply the 2 by how many terms? The same three. How many terms are here? And then how many terms are here? What is 2 times 3? Times. We should end up getting 6 terms whenever we multiply everything out. Does that make sense? Okay, so 2x times 3x squared. Can y'all see the green? No? 2x times negative 5x. Is that better? Any questions so far? Okay, 2x times 2. Okay. Okay, 2 times 3x squared. Oh, did y'all put them on another? Y'all can put them on. You can do it. Yeah, you can do that if you want. Whichever. Uh, what comes next? Yeah. And then, does that make sense? Okay. So, what is our highest power? The cube. Do we have any others besides this one? So, it's just 6x cubed. How many squares do we have? We've got negative 10 and 6, which is... Does that make sense? Okay. What would be the next term? Negative 6x, and then the last one is plus 1. All of that is your answer. Does that make sense? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We started with 6 terms. So we probably multiplied it correctly. So if you're worried that you forgot a term, see how many terms you should have, and see how many you actually ended up with. 2 times 3. If it was a... Three times times these three, it'd be three times three, nine. Six. Does that make sense? Okay. All right. I'll move it again. It's going up.
Is that better? Yes? Okay. How many terms should you have? Why six? Okay. What would you get for your first term? Do you agree? Minus what? Minus what? Yeah, you could do that one. They went, they did that. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Do it, you do it, and you should try and see if you end up with the same thing. Okay? All right, and then the next one would be that, right? Yeah, if you want, when you see it in the book, if it's a three by two and you want to make it a two by three and you copy it down, you should rewrite this. Okay. And then what would be the next term? And then what would be the next term? Plus four X and then what? Do we have six terms? So what would be our first term? The second term? Then what? Do you agree? Did you get the same thing? Any questions? Bye, Wayne. He's out of, he's done with school. He's headed home. He didn't have a six hour. Yeah. He has a, he might have a first hour, but he's finished after. All right, so what's different about this one? We're dividing. All right, 333 divided by four. How would you set that up? Three thirty-three divided by, I just made it up. I just made it up. Right? 333 divided by 4. The 4 goes on the outside, right? Okay. So which one is going to go on the outside? Do we want to write it as negative 4 plus x? Yeah. Okay. You, you always want to start by rewriting your polynomial. x minus 4. Just pay attention. Pay attention. Shh. Pay attention. Just watch. How should I write this? All right. The highest one is x cubed. Do you agree? Is that in descending order? No, this is not the answer. Any questions? Does that make sense so far? Okay. So, what times x would give you 5x cubed? 5x squared? What is 5x squared times 5? I mean, times x. Yeah, they should always match up. What is 5x squared times negative 4?
We'll get there. We'll get there. Y'all see how to get the 5x cubed minus 20x squared. All right. When you're dividing, 5 times what would give you 33? What? 6. And it would be 30, right? And what would you, what did you do to get the 3? You subtract it. So what are we going to have to do? We're going to subtract. Does that make sense? 33 minus 30 is 3. Okay. So you got to do, you subtract the whole thing. So make it a negative sign on both. And a negative negative 20 becomes a positive. Does that make sense? Okay. So 5x cubed minus 5x cubed. They cancel out. Negative 2x squared plus 20x squared. Does that make sense? All right, we'll get there. X times what would give you 18X squared? 18X times X is what? What do we do have to do next? And you get... Now what do I have to do? Make this one a negative, make this one what? What happens here? What do you get? Y'all see how that's working so far? Okay, x times what will give you 77x? 77 times x? Then what do you do? 77 times 4 is what? Oh, I got it. Three oh eight. And then what do you do? Make this a negative and make the 308 a positive, right? And then what? Those cancel. Alright, so what did we get for the part that actually divided out? Alright, you got 5x squared plus 18x plus 77, right? Do we have a remainder? Plus, because it's a positive, plus 2, up here. But what was it being divided by? You have to divide it by x. So your remainder over what it's being divided by. It's basically, even long division, we call it a Y'all remember how to do that? Y'all remember the concept? Does it make sense? The process? Last year, did it take you a little bit to get used to doing them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, don't expect to get them right the very first time. I mean, you might. You might just be able to do it. But sometimes you'll get off. 77 times negative 4 is negative 308. And you have to change it. Three oh eight plus two is three ten. Does that make sense? What's eight plus two? No, times four. So three oh eight plus two. Yeah. Any questions on this one?
Go ahead and write the problem down. These are a little bit harder. There's just an extra step. Write it down first. Negative 6 plus x cubed divided by negative 2 plus x. What does the little light bulb man say? Okay. So, are we missing any exponents on our negative 2 plus x? How would I write it? Does that make sense? Oh, whoops. Does that make sense? Okay. You always want your... You always want the highest power to come first. X has the highest power. No, you want your highest power to come first. X has a higher power than 2, because 2 doesn't have a variable. What's your highest power here? Do we have an X squared? How... We have none of them. So we put zero. It's a placeholder. Zero times x, x squared is zero. Right? So we haven't changed the polynomial. Plus what? Zero x minus six. Make sense? What is going to be the first number? What am I going to write down here? x cubed negative 2x squared. Now what? Change your signs. And what do you get? 2x squared. Any questions so far? Okay. What's going to go here? Do y'all agree with Kayla? What times x would give you 2x squared? 2x. So 2x times x would give you what? Two x squared minus four x, correct? Then you change the sign. So what would you get? And then what? What goes down here? Which results in what? So what would I write for my answer? Y'all see how that works? Any questions there? Right, I think. See if you can do this one yourself. Three plus seven X minus three X squared plus four X cubed. Divided by negative 3 plus x. Do you need any placeholders?
got? Is that what you got? Hmm? That's why I'm asking. Is that what you got? Because I'm not 100% sure. Do I need to? Do I need to work it out? How many got this? Okay, Emily's still working. Scott, what'd you get? What'd you get? Oh, uh, you forgot. You did twenty-seven minus seven. It was twenty-seven plus seven. Uh, Emily, did you get that? I mean, Sarah, Sarah, did you get that? <laughs> Sean, did you get that? Yes. Any questions? None? Yeah, they do. Uh, this year, at the end of this year, or maybe your junior year, we learn a quicker way to do it. 